Oh my god, Heart of Iron. You've got one hell of a... Th Flithp. Stupid intros aside, g'day mates and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 times 10 Yeah, I think this is a lot easier to show in game. Let's get into this. No need for three minute intro. G'day mates and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. Today we're playing with pure random AI focuses. We're playing with extended uh, decisions and formable plus. We're playing with more variants. And most importantly, we're playing with the Hearts of Iron 4 times 10 mod. What does that do you say? Well, it makes everything times 10. Yeah. Now it's important to note it doesn't actually make everything times 10. That is to say the focuses are still the same. Uh, as far as I can see, the ministers, still the same. But it's just research. Everything in the research is completely times 10, except, I noticed, for research time. Because presumably, if they did minus, sorry, times 10 for research time, you'd get, you know, like three in, and then you could instantly click every single research, blah, 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 and you'd, they'd all finish instantly, and the game would be rather boring. So I'm honest, I'm actually kind of okay with that. The mod page describes Liberia having 200 divisions, pushing being a bloodbath, and surpassing the actual death count of World War II, which to be fair, isn't really a claim considering all the things I usually do in Hearts of Iron 4. And so when I looked at this, I had two thoughts. The first was, how can I prevent the lag being truly awful? And secondly, how can I make the most fronts to just toll as much manpower out of everyone as possible? And to that I say, God save the queen. King? King. Right, king at this point. God keep the king around. <laughs> Clearly God did not do good enough of a job, because we <laughs> we managed to lose the fucking king. So we're going to call this one Stanley Baldwin's death from above. Why are we calling it that? Well, eh, wow, aircraft. I've, I've never realized actually that... Wow, these do have minor descriptions. Oh my god, you find something new every day. So whilst the planes aren't changed at all, their doctrines are. So battlefield support gives you 150% to fighter detection, fire, uh, sorry, 200% to air support efficiency, and 200% to ground support, which means your units fight 200% better when they have uh, units in the sky. Also, you can just get aces generated every 10 seconds. As awesome as this line is, the other lines have some very silly shit too. For example, if you go over onto here, uh, night bombing actually becomes better than day bombing because you get minus 500% penalty, so you bomb better at night. And in this one, your strategic bombers just get stealth fields. You can't see them. It's amazing. So part two of the plan is pretty clear. We're gonna set up a bunch of fronts and just slaughter the enemies using our superior aircraft. However, part one of the plan is to annex all of the colonies and get them under my control. Now that's normally a little bit of a bitch, but when you can just super build because you have, uh, and if we look here real quick, plus 100% construction every time you research this tech, we can just subjugate the British Raj in like 10 days. So let's do that. Oh my God. I hadn't even considered the infantry doctrine bullshit. 100% max entrenchment. Oh no, these forts are going to be hideous. Oh, this defense, the 100% breakthrough as well. Hang on, there's got to be something ridiculous here. Oh, thank God, they didn't boost the recruitable population. Right, thank God, we still have that in our pocket. Of course, everything's going to struggle against superior firepower, which just gets 200% extra soft attack. 100%? <laughs> God. Okay, you get 150%. That's actually worse. Oh my god. Like, oh. Man, maybe integrated support would really be, like, amazing now because you'll get 500% more on your uh, support companies. Oh, this is rough as hell. Of course, I don't even need to look at the naval doctrines to tell you that uh, fleet in being is going to be absolutely amazing. Everything else is going to be okay because, you know, you get sort of your, uh, sort of efficiency up, boost your little bits and pieces, but... Then you just have this, which is giving your capital ships plus 100 armor, 200 org, plus another 200 org, plus 100% attack. It's absolutely insane. I'm not going to leave port until this is entirely uh, researched. I like this calm before the storm, right? No one's actually got- oh, never mind, the king died. No one's actually got any tech yet. Everything's like seemingly normal, but you we all know- oh my god, what if Ethiopia pushes Italy back? Because, of course, the early um, infantry techs will give you, like, plus 50. Oh, mate. This could be bad for Italy. Oh, I just realized motorized infantry is going to get plus 1,000% hardness. They're going to be so hard. Never mind. Ethiopia got annexed. 
I'll always remember what could have been, my boys. What could- Ooh, let's grow rubber plantations in Nigeria. And the first of the plus 100% are down. This is where it begins. I'm just gonna massively boost a bunch of civvy factories. Get a bunch of them out the door, and then I'm just gonna annex the shit out of the uh, British Raj by, uh, infrastructuring the fuck out of it. It should be good. Oh my god, I don't know why, but my airbase can hold 20,000 planes. Hang on, does that mean my uh, naval base is gonna repair it like... Yes, they have 600 capacity, which I think, yep, is a lot more than usual. Wait, what about the radars that- Oh. Oh no. Oh, Britain, please stop. That's a level 1 radar. Oh no! Oh no! It may look like all of my factories are building at peak efficiency, but in fact, the bar just doesn't fit what they've got to get to. They're 135% of 250%. And that number's only gonna get higher. Oh god, we're gonna have a lot of gear. Oh shit, I just realized trickleback is increased as- wait, hang on. If the trickleback is more than the actual casualties taken, can we create men by losing them? Can we make British zombie- please, tell me. I hope the game breaks so much that we can create British zombies. Oh, what the fuck, they didn't recruit- oh, come- come on, I didn't remove supply usage so I can go into negative supply usage. Get out of here. At least we can capture all of the enemy's equipment. Oh. Oh, this is going to be very silly. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Chamberlain, you poor fuck. Try giving a speech in this timeline. I'm sure there'll be peace in our time with our new completely invisible stealth bombers and towns completely impervious to any attack by air, because with all the upgrades, static anti-air guns could shoot a fucking fly out of the sky at 6,000 kilometers. Oh shit, you can also make wings of 10,000- Okay, that is a really nice feature, just- Just- mm. Oh! Oh, what is your name? Daddy Pika? Okay, I don't like calling you that, but okay, Daddy. Look, thank you. Thank you- Oh. Daddy. Daddy, please, thank you so much, that is- mm. God, you just make me so happy. In so many ways, in ways that I can't even describe, that you let me make giant fucking air wings. Oh my god, I forgot, of course, because as you upgrade you can fit even more factories in a province. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. By so bad, I mean so, so good. <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold on, how has this happened? The Germans went down the Rhineland for- no wait, no they didn't, because the Rhineland never got demilitarized. I guess they just delayed it a bit to, uh, spark a civil war. Oh, this is gonna be very strange. I wonder how this- I guess it just goes down to whoever can tech the fastest. Oh no. Oh no, good luck, Germany. I'll come in to clean up afterwards, don't worry. Oh no, I'm making so many weapons. Like, I'm seriously cutting back because I'm actually very afraid of the 1.8 million bug. No, is it 1.8 billion? I can't quite recall. Uh, either way... We're gonna actually destroy our own equipment if we build too much, so just calm the fuck down, please. Impressively, August looks to be killing Hitler, and there we go. So this is gonna be a bit of a weird situation. Should we just invade? I, I feel like we should just invade them. Can we invade them? Not just yet. Ah, uh, yes. Malaya and Raj are both down to the annex level, and I just have to pay 300 political power each to annex them. So I'm gonna go for the Raj first and grab that. But hey, I've got an extra research slot, because why don't we get more bullshit stuff? I like that we have a little 1% radar in Czechoslovakia, as if occasionally the radar operator looks at it and goes, Hmm, I think I saw a plane in Czechoslovakia. Maybe it was just a bunch of red balloons. You know, I really want to know who's gonna break the peace first. I'm guessing Japan, maybe? China's decided on democracy, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what's happening? Okay, that's- that's happening in China. Is everyone just being really peaceful? Like, we all have these devastatingly evil weapons. America, what are you doing? Okay, just expanding the marines, which might be used for an invasion. Hmm... I'm watching you, America. I- I like how of all the people I checked, I didn't actually check Mussolini. Who, to be fair, is just trying to learn how to read good. And the first sort of real war, though it's still basically a rebellion, is Qing China against Japan. Let's see how quickly that- well, they've already got their capital. Hmm. This seems mighty unfair. Oh well, that went really well. I'm guessing he's still in charge, isn't he? Why do we always let the Asian emperors just stay in charge after we beat them? 
it really just doesn't encourage them to stop. Oh, I've only just noticed the game's a little bit broke. The um, unlocked slots seem to just sort of go past the screen and keep on going. Well, we may have forgotten and are still waiting to annex the Raj, but thankfully enough, in the meantime, let's just invade and annex Iraq because, well, we have to test our new toys on someone, don't we? Why is everyone sick? Is it because you're starving in the desert? Stop starving in the desert, please. Oh, you mother, I was, I was just about to make the joke that the first like non sort of civil war or non, non puppet war, oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck is Asian Rasputin doing? No. Oh no. Well, giant disappointments aside, somehow US beat me to the punch of being the first independent nation to declare war and a foreign nation by declaring war on Venezuela. You beat me to the punch by literally two days. Go fuck yourself, US. Just have to feel relevant for once. You actually have to start a war for once, do you? Oh, well. Not coming in halfway through, you cheeky cunts. Well, anyway, it just so happens that the day we get to annex the Raj... Oh, this is... Mm. Oh, we just we just ate so many civilian factories that I put in here. Ain't this bit... Wait, how has the world tension gone down? I'm... We declared war in Iraq, and they declared war in Venezuela, and the world tension's gone down? What? That's not even how world tension works! Ah! <laughs> this is democratic privilege. The German military junta literally opposes Hitler and creates world tension. Democratic nations invade and annex other nations and lower world tension. Not to mention that Italy just talked about owning Yugoslavia and increased world tension. What the fuck? Okay, let's see the power of this fully armed and operational British army. So this is also with, what's that, like 10, okay, basically 11,000 planes supporting. Oh god, okay, just wanna pause the combats immediately. They're actually pretty tough as well, but unfortunately we're very tough and I kinda wanna see, is there any air support here? Oh, I didn't even get to see the air support, hang on, let's, let's see what the air support are doing. Oh, it's a lot of, oh, hang on. Oh, okay, no, there's there's no one left to fight. We're just overrunning them immediately. Hang on, let's see, is there any... 100% enemy dis uh, planes? I don't know, I want to see our missions. Nope, okay, we apparently didn't fly any because we're killing them too quick to actually get people in the combat. Oh no, guys, guys, please. That defense is so... <laughs> so it's the breakthrough. Oh my god, no one can touch us on attack. Because of course, our massively boosted breakthrough. We may actually be better at attacking... Wait, if we want to hold a line, we may be better at actually attacking than defending, because our breakthrough is probably higher. I don't know, I'll have to look into that one. Oh my god. Alright, either way, let's keep boosting this shit. Because uh, we're preparing to, in preparing to invade Iran after this, alright? Don't, don't question it. I would like to bring up, of course, these tanks that you saw devastating the enemy lines. They're literally just three tanks, that's it. That's all they are. That is the entirety of those divisions, and they were just slaughtering the enemy divisions. Um... No real secret why, to be honest. Modernizing the wasteland. Oh wait, I'm not playing Old War Blues. This is the real world. That's a little bit more depressing. Okay. Oh boy, here I go imperializing again. And with that, the lands of the empire connect up. I think we're gonna need to take all of Africa, aren't we? And I mean, France, you aren't really doing much this- Oh my god, you're going fascist. Why are you mostly communist then? Oh, why is the world tension so low? I need it to go up. I need to start killing people. So I've just researched the new uh, mechanized tech and yep. Oh my God. Motorized take minus 10% soft attack. Now I'm 99% sure that's not how this works, but please, dear God, please tell me that the math works out so that soft attack heals my motorized divisions. I hope it's true. I'm gonna test it. Boy, do I hope it's true. 1940s, no major war. What the fuck is happening in this game? Oh my fucking god, Japan's gone democratic. I, I don't actually believe it. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Oh, something I only just noticed is that volunteer only, like all the um manpower ticks have been increased Scraping the barrel is now 
Oh, that's just... That's insane. Okay. I, how did I not notice that before then? Oh my god, Germany's going democratic as well. What is happening in this mod? Like, it's not even in this mod. This is just pure random AI focuses doing this. Everyone's just sort of decided to have a not, you know... There's no fascists left. I mean, I guess Mussolini's around. What, what's he doing? Oh. He's, he's trying to sink... He's trying to sink ships. I, um... I just, I feel bad for him. He was dropped on his head as a child, and that's why he wears the funny hat. Oh, there we go. America finally decided to use its marines, and yep, invaded Venezuela. I was, I like how I suspected them to be like, oh, they're gonna use their marines. They did. They did invade them. How could they? Oh, it's time. Get in here, Churchill. It's time to get back to the old ways. Oh, those jowls. Look at them. Um... You know, you were elected into the wartime because you you turned out to be pretty good at that, despite Gallipoli. Um, but, uh, it's pretty fucking peaceful right now. You know that speech Chamberlain made? Turns out he was actually kind of fucking right. Uh, there's, there's just nothing going on. We're gonna have to try and start something, you know. Amazingly, world tension's just gone back down again. I can't actually start any fucking wars. <laughs> no one's fighting. What is it? Someone, please, actually something. Just be fascist, please. Italy, come on, what are you doing? Just be Italy for- Romania wants to join the Allies. I- sure. Because why not make more friends in this game? Why not just befriend everyone? Welcome to my game of Hoi 4. It's 1941, the British have just reclaimed several countries, the Americans invaded a few more, and the world tension is zero. Um... This is somehow more peaceful than peaceful Hitler ever was. <sighs> Here she is, my 1% world tension. The state of Japan, but it's Nagasaki versus Tokyo. It's radiation versus normal people. All right, let's see. Oh no, Japan. Oh, Japan, no, they have like 300 divisions and you don't. Oh boy. This is actually kind of a fun war to watch though. Like this is, it's just there's so many divisions, but no one's using them. This is just mad all over again. No one's actually, oh <gasps> yes. Oh my god, we mobilized so slightly. The European Confederation between Hungary and France. Batane, what are you doing? Hungary, what are you do- where is- what happened to Horth- did you kill Horthy? No, you've actually decided to- You've- you're not actually fasc- oh, you might go with fascist king line at least. But, oh boy. Oh boy, guys, would you look at that. Japan is now democratic. One of the few people I was relying on to start a fucking war is now worse than me, because at least I started a few wars. <gasps> what? Oh, I'm... I'm... S <sighs> I read that as the Australian Soviet Republic, and I was like, <gasps> Wow, we might have war! Are they, are they breaking free? No. No, the Austrians, since they didn't get uns... This is what happens when you don't unschluss them! They go communist and join the Comintern! Oh, but Germany might- wait, Germany's gone democratic. okay, Germany's democratic as well! But maybe they might start a war! Please, the French are the center stone of fascism. In fact, the Italians haven't even joined- what are the Italians doing? Wait, no, are they in the Euro- When did you join? What? I'm so con- but hang on, you might- when they do Italian- uh, it's called Italy first, they might just leave and join their own thing. And here we make the bastion of Australia, where we fall back if all else is lost. It is completely fucking impervious, and I'm just gonna put a bunch of land forts and- why am I putting land forts around the coast? God, I'm smart. Mm. Oh my god! Yes, fine, join the fucking allies. Just because, I don't know, I want to see more war when war does actually kick off. Germany speaks out against the Soviet Union, even <laughs> when you attack someone, it's just with words! Nope, that's, that's just, that's just fascist Greece joining the European Confederate. There is just two giant power blocks forming, the European Confederation and the Allies. The common form have decided to also get pretty big by having a few rando members join them. And the Chinese United Front is just very fat. So... I hope all of this boils over and we don't all just end up 
in some giant alliance together. If I see NATO across the map in just a moment, I'm going to be so angry. <gasps> what is this? Oh! Oh, it's beautiful! I can finally see it! War! Yes! Okay, the plan is as follows. We've got the foreign lads looking after all of our defenses. We've got the Terminators who are going to push through in uh, Tripoli and basically wipe up that little front. Then the main front is down in Ethiopia. We're going to push in the, with the, uh, was it Broom Broom? Our motorized, because we're going to test these and see if they do heal from soft attack. We've got uh, the Drive Boys as well, the tanks pushing in. We've got, uh, where is it? Uh, thin Red Line? No, yeah, Thin Red Line. They're pushing in from the back. Cool. So basically, full encirclement, take out the Italians. Brilliant. Then we've got Tricky Dick Slim and, uh, was it Musa Beni? Beautiful. These two are going to be moving in, landing in Sicily, landing on the neck here, and I'm hopefully going to set up a bunch of forts to just test some units in Italy. Right. Once we're done with that, we'll send a few units to, I don't know, punch Bulgaria in the face, and we'll just wipe up Italy. Should be good. How many units have they got? A fair few. Brilliant. Okay. Thankfully enough, I have the skies covered around here, and I also have my naval units deployed, which should just fuck everything up, because I actually have the naval doctrines. On top of that, I'm just going to put a few more planes out in the ocean here. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Oh shit, I've just realized a huge problem with all my supply. Because my navy and air force are so big, they're starving out my armies on the ground. I need to move these guys. They can't stay in Alexandra. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is so horribly awkward. Guys. It's nice that Luxembourg joined it. It's nice that the Eastern Poland was ceded. It's nice that Belgium joined it. It's nice that Netherlands joined it. But where the fuck is my war declaration? You don't do this to me. You d You don't do- no. Oh no. You have the war goal. Use it. Use it, damn you. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out war goals. Worn out war goals. No one's declaring. I'm screaming louder. Clam chowder. Clam chowder. <gasps> what in the fuck did I just read? Ah, oh, <laughs> I thought that was Italy. I thought it was Italy. I was about to be so happy because then I could I can embargo the USSR. Okay. Uh, because then I could have done the whole sanction Italy and gone to war with Italy. I'd be like, fine, I'll do it myself. But. But no, no, the United States once again just pisses all over logic. They actually, they made the war goal. How the fuck did you do this? I didn't think it was possible because you were on just air production. How did you do this? They shouldn't have been able to make that war goal. How the fuck did they do this? How? Because even, even to make a topple government one, you need 100% world tension. I don't understand. America, how did you do this? Oh my god, I see how they did it. War playing gold. They just kill the French. Huh. I'm impressed. I didn't know about that. I want my war, I want my war. You have a war goal against France now as well! It's literally a war with America! Italy, be evil! Declare a war! Please! Oh no, they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. <gasps> I see a little focus. Please. Please don't just deny your war goal here. This is it. Go to war. You're doing the open. How did you change? Oh my god. You got taken over. <gasps> Wait. Hang on. What? Hang on. What? Hang on. Hang on. How did you declare war on... They were in your faction. What? Now they're at war with the French, despite the fact they wouldn't go to war with the... Okay, who are you calling me to arms against? Against the Americans. How in the fuck are the Americans at war with you? I... I don't understand. Did you, like, guarantee Greece? Yes, you did. That's how you're at war with them. Ah, uh, okay. Right. I mean, it's time. 
It's kicked off in the dumbest way possible. But it's time. War plan, let's actually fucking kill some people. Go, go, go. Oh my god, I just realized these have still got like 20 days to go. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, keep going, keep going. Let's go, boys. Okay, let's see. How is the air looking? Air's looking good. How's the naval people looking? Looking pretty good. Have we sunk anyone yet? Uh, we shot some ships there. Let's see if there's a naval battle just yet. Oh god, there's apparently naval invasions everywhere. Okay, keep it in your pants, boys. That'd be the French, wouldn't it? Who's actually got their ships here? I'm not quite sure. Um, who am I allied with right now? Wait, I'm allied with the French. This is my fleet ready, going up against an Italian fleet, and no nothing's happening. There's a French... <laughs> the only French ship... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the only French ship in the combat is trying to run away. Nice, nice. Oh shit, oh, the mega fleet battle has been joined. Oh my god. 62 British battleships have just devastated the enemy fleet. So far, we've not lost, oh hang on, we've lost two British destroyers and then a bunch of French ships. And is that German? No, that, that's also French. With this, The Paris was sunk, funnily enough. Oh my god, let's, are those battleships in range? They aren't even in range, this is just my normal ships doing this. And like, my destroyers and shit. Two battleships, 37 subs, 25 destroyers, 9 light cruisers, 1 heavy, couple of planes, 65 convoys, all for my planes and two destroyers. Brilliant, the landing has succeeded, so we now spread out, capture everything we need, and secure our end of the island. This is looking pretty good, and we can start to test all our units once we've gotten all the- Wait, are the French invading from the north? God damn it, French- Stop, I want to test things. I'm using the Italians as my testing dummies. God damn it. So our max entrenchment is 337, and our max planning bonus is 343. So if we just sit still for a while, we basically become invulnerable, and then when we roll forwards, we completely impervious to any attack, and can just slaughter everything. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, these models. Okay, Hearts of Iron, you need to really just have like a max on how many plane models are allowed to be displayed. That's a, that's a 9-11 and... Okay. This is glorious. This is not so glorious. We have no bananas. That's um... Just some tiny part of me feels like that is not a relevant situation right now. How in the fuck do we have 12 billion guns and no bananas? I'm pretty sure we own most of the banana producing world. Australia, I'm coming for you, little shit. Hold on. How long, in, how long until I can take over the banana production? Yeah, I know Rome's fallen, but how about the bananas? Only 200 more political power and we can get infinite bananas. Oh boy, Switzerland broke its neutrality. What is this? Of course. Of course, okay. So Italy lives in the... Yes. So Italy lives in the mountains, um, I own most of Italy, uh, it's called Gibraltar got a little bit bigger, I took most of the colonies, I took Ethiopia, I took, uh, what's called Philippines as well, everything around here, that was actually a pretty great deal. Ah, Greater Albania got puppeted. Kind of okay with that, to be honest. How in the living fuck do I have negative two- <gasps> Oh my god, it works! It fucking works! It worked! Ah! It actually fucking works! Oh my god, look at my battle reports. Okay. To start with, equipment, when uh, we, we, we just capture all of the enemy's equipment. 99% of the time we capture all of it, right? Um, but if we look at manpower lost... Hang on, how much of that trickled back? If we look at manpower lost real quick. Uh, so it was... 20%, 120... 120% of that trickled back! We've actually increased our manpower. Oh my god, it says we have no casualties from the war. That's why we have no war score. Because <laughs> we didn't lose anyone. We gained soldiers. Yes. Oh, this is just the best war ever. I, I fucking love this. We are gaining soldiers by fighting. The Soviets and Americans stand... Wait, there's, there's a communist Chinese. Somehow that's worse. The Communist Chinese and Soviet- Wait, no, there's also Soviets there! In fact, there's Communist Chinese and Soviets, and then the Americans. Apparently, they're on top. We can see what sort of shadow government's being run here. They all stand side by side in face of the new British onslaught. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. Alright, here we go. 
Let's set up our lines and get ready to call Canada in. All right, it's go time. We're probably not in a great position for this, but I decided that I actually wanted to fight a war. Oh my god. Now, let's check some shit here real quick, right? <laughs> in the first five minutes, we found 15,000 soldiers just sitting around. Let's have a look at this real quick. So when I fight, not only am I stealing over 100% of their equipment, but I'm also stealing, no, reviving more men than I started with. Wait, what? <gasps> oh my god, Germany under attack because the Soviets have declared war on Lithuania. They declared war on a Central European Alliance member because Afghanistan was beating them. Oh no. Oh, Soviets, you, you fucked up. Now Lithuania's gonna beat you. Lithuania? Well, I guess the Anschluss went off after all. The Italian Union, someone without a flag, declared war on Italy. But that's impossible because they're a one-state province. So where the US are now out of manpower, uh, I, I've gained a million in this war. Let me just... Yep. In fact, I've gained so many casualties that my entire team now hasn't lost any. I've made up for everyone else. Oh god, I've just realized with these two bloody night vision modifiers, it's gonna be better to fight at night than it is to fight at day. I've just been devouring dinner because... Yeah, this took forever. Like, forever. And all it was was just walking forwards. Let's, uh... Oh, I'm impressed! I didn't get to check how many negative population I had found along the way, but... Let's just kick things off by annexing all of the, uh... 13 colonies, shall we? I don't even know if these are the actual 13 colonies, but we're just gonna claim they are. We've, uh... Says... Fuck me. The state of Japan took some states, and, uh, we just sort of encircled Roosevelt permanently. Um... I got a couple of colonies back, you might say. So that was really long and tiresome. Let's do that one more time. Oh my fucking god, I missed that attacking across rivers... They, they, they buffed this as well, so attacking across rivers means that you're better than not attacking across a river because this overpowers the rigor... the rigor? Rigor, rigor, rigor. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just fucking perfect. The US just declared war on France. <sighs> of course it did. I'm not joining your war. I am not, good sir. How... in the fuck... Just, okay, Japan, get out of my faction. Get the fuck out. Good. You, you've joined it recently, go fuck yourself. Oh, you're not even like a puppet. You just got cha- oh. Get out of the allies, I don't want you in here. And so it begins. This totally didn't take like an unreasonable amount of time thanks to late game lag, exasperated by the fact that well, just look at the map, okay? You know, not all my troops are here, and to be frank, things aren't even as set up as they could be. Let's just... How are the supplies still doing? Masa Mutra. So over here is our supply problem. Local naval bases are our supply. Okay, let's just keep doing that supply problem. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Brilliant. Boop, boop, brilliant. Cool. Excellent. Absolutely savaged wrecked. Cool. Let's just press the go button and see what happens. Yep, they're all hating life. All right, off we go. Oh my god, we're melting the Soviets. It's nice to see the giant bulge headed straight for Moscow. Oh, game, you feeling all right? No, okay. These are like level one light tanks as well. And they are just murdering everything. It's so good to see. All right, guys. Oh god, I can't even, I, I don't even, I have a book in my hand, which is why I can't press the space bar. There we go. Oh. My god. Yes. Just drive for Moscow, please. Well, that's, um, that's a division with 26,000, uh, soft attack. Mainly because it's crossing a river, and it has a planning bonus of 258. And the decryption advantage. And it's night. All things that should normally hurt it, instead give it amazing bonuses! In fact, if I could get a few more, maybe having no supply could make it fight better as well. Oh, hang on, the terrain also boosts its attack, despite the fact it's a tank attacking urban, which is normally a bad idea. Fuck me. Actually, just fuck me. This is... Some grade A bullshit. Oh, I forgot the forts. The forts also boosted my attack against the Russians. Because 
attacking forts is somehow better for me. That's that's 12,000 breakthrough right there. Because attacking forts is a good choice in my eyes. Well, we ended that war with only minus 14,000 because we lost 43,000 to the state of Japan. This is the result of the United Kingdom. Yes, we could fight on and kill Japan, but fuck that, I'm done. Hearts of Iron times 10. A terrible, terrible fucking idea.